What's happening everyone? Um, so I've actually filming a, a vlog on the day that I say it is, so we're 13 weeks out today. I've just spent the past 10 minutes trying to get decent lighting to show you how, because usually when I record these there's sunlight coming through and it's just, um, it's just gone quarter to nine so um, there's still not really much sun in the sky and this kind of light just shows you how fucking pale and translucent I am. Um, so, but, you know, a bit off topic, but like, I, I vouched, I vouched, I kind of promised myself that my days with um, tanning were done. Um, so a few people have asked, like, have I used, like, melanotan and stuff. Um, I fucking abused melanotan, um, what, about five years ago? Um, and I remember going on holiday to Mexico and I came back and it, like, they... The colour I went, it looked like I was wearing fake tan. It was a horrible colour. <clears throat> and then I was doing Milan tan and nasal sprays uh, when I was in Lanz Lanzarote uh, two years ago and I started to notice that I was getting more and more moles across my body and I was like, nah, I'm done with this. Um, so I'm just gonna accept my natural skin colour, which is fucking milk bottle, translucent, fucking pale sickness. Um, but yeah, I quite like look. I quite like the look of um, if you look at Dennis Wolf. Dennis Wolf is insanely pale as well. Um, when he was like two weeks out from a show, and because he's so pale, like everything just looks fucking harder for some reason. I don't know why it is. Um, but yeah, this is uh, my true, my true skin color, and this fucking lighting and this camera lens is showing that off to its best ability. So. As I've got older, this applies to my bodybuilding as well. As I've got older, I've kind of, you know, older, I'm not even old, but like wiser, I've kind of moved away from stuff that's kind of destructive. So, you know, I don't drink um, often. When I want to talk often, I'm talking like two or three times a year, and that's not a mad binge either, that's just a couple of drinks uh, a few times a year. Um, don't, I'll, don't use sunbeds anymore. I think it was two years ago. I probably used my last sunbed. Um, stuff like that, kind of taking all these kind of factors out. And, um, you know, I changed up sources that I was eating. I don't eat off, obviously I've been on prep for almost, a, well, when I finish this prep, it will be an entire year. But um, during the off season, I maybe had maybe five, six cheat meals an entire year. Um, I am really moving away from stuff that's quote unquote destructive. now. Don't get me wrong, uh, I love sunbeds. Um, I love, don't, I don't love drinking, but you know, it is enjoyable like to an extent. And I love eating shit foods, but you've got to kind of, if you're gonna do something as stressful as bodybuilding, you have to, you know, pick your battles essentially. And that's what I've done. So um, yeah, chosen to kind of keep things as, as tight as humanly possible. And in terms of my health and that, cause I want to do this forever. You know, I don't. I don't want to be out my my late thirties. I want to be to do. I want to be competing in master shows when I'm in my fucking forties and fifties. Um, that's how I, I see myself progressing, and the, my training's changed um, as well, and things like that. And you know, I'm, I'm. I want to do cardio. You know, I'm not like oh fuck cardio this, fuck cardio that in the off season. Like I want to do cardio. Um, you know, because just touching on others, uh, a side, sort of side track. You know, um, if you look at the male health in my family, it's not the best. I mean, uh, my dad's dad died in his early 50s. My mum's dad died in his mid-60s. My uncle died late 50s. Uh, sorry, early 60s. My dad isn't in good health either. He hasn't been for the past uh, 10, 12 years. Um, so a lot of conditions, differing conditions, in the family and I really don't want to shorten my life um, you know doing some of the silly things that we do in, in life not just bodybuilding um, and some of you may be saying well you're fucking doing this immensely stressful sport you're taking all these anabolics you're taking growth hormone you're taking all these fat burners and that I understand that but I am taking measures outside of that and within kind of health supplementation and that to ensure that you know I'm as healthy as possible and um, I've just uploaded, at the time of this viewing, I haven't uploaded yet, uh, this recording, 
Uh, but I've uploaded a, a review of my blood work um, for you to kind of watch and kind of hear my opinions on. Uh, don't get me wrong, I don't go... Number one, like, I know how to read blood work. I know how to advise on blood work. But the in-depth science stuff, like a Dr. Dean Martin, you know, type thing, like, you know, it's, it's not like that. It's just a nice, nice kind of casual review of of, uh, of what, I've, what my blood work looks like. So, um, I'm on a bit of a tangent now. Uh, so, we're 13 weeks out, and I haven't taken morning photos today uh, because Reagan's down south with work. Um, obviously, you need a professional photographer, that's just part of this game. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take post workout photos and I'm going to insert them now. So, that's how I look. Um, I'm definitely tighter this week, I'd say. I'm definitely noticing it through my hamstrings, my quads, uh, my lower back. I can't, I haven't looked at my lower back, but I can, you know, I can feel that. That's where kind of, that lower handle area um, is the first kind of place to go when I do start kind of getting on the sloppier side of fat gain. So that's starting to, to drop, um, like leaning across my arms, a um, bit more separated from my shoulders. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely coming again. I weighed in this morning at 261. Um, so it's almost exactly the same as, as last week um, and blood pressure was 121 over 60 something so sitting in a pretty good spot uh, no niggles no pains bicep is holding up fine uh, I put up a reel of my leg training yesterday um, and I managed to hit 180 kilo for 15 reps um, if you refer back to previous vlogs or some of my training videos that I put up with Craig, um, you'll see that um, I've changed up my, my training, my leg training. Um, you know, I'm trying to keep everything above 12 reps, uh, something's above 15 reps. That's just kind of where I'm, I'm sitting up with my training just now. Um, anything lower than that, and I just I just know that something is going to happen um, hip wise. It feels good. It feels solid, um, and everything feels kind of fine. Um, and a hundred percent, but you know, I don't want to push it. I don't want to be in that spot I was seven weeks out from the bodies by all last year, where I couldn't train legs. I had to do the fluffiest, most fucking shite workouts ever, um, just to get my legs to stay to keep a bit similar to my legs. So um, I don't want to be in that position. My leg day is the most demanding in terms of metabolically. So you know, I want to keep that as high as possible so that I'm burning as much fat as possible. So definitely changing up my outlook and on how I train legs than I, than I did in the past. So none of this four rep, five rep, six rep stuff, you know, I want to keep it really high. Um, my barbell squats, obviously I got uh, 180 for 15. So I want to hit 180 for 20 by the end of the year. I think uh, I'm definitely gonna get that. So I've never actually hit that before. Um, I'd, I'd love just, love, it's just a marker that I've never kind of been able to hit. So something's changed along the way. Like I've had to manipulate my training in some ways and. Uh, change the training goals and that's kind of been put in the back seat but this is something I really kind of want to achieve so I'm going to keep at that. Um, just invested, gone um, halfers as we call it with um, with Future Fitness for a new hack squat so um, I want to achieve that before then the, the hack squat comes into the gym so yeah that'll be uh, That'll be the, when I, I change out the barbell squat. So I might keep it. I don't know. Barbell and hack squat. Barbell squat and hack squat. Like fuck it. Might as well just make the sessions horrible then. Keeping those two in. Um, nutritionally, food's still super high. Like I said last week, it's I'm sitting at a food level that's actually higher than my where I ended my off season. So that's that's pretty cool. Still sitting there. Uh, obviously with the weight settling, that's fine. But I'm definitely growing. Like there's without a doubt, I'm, I'm definitely growing. I can see it, I can feel it. I was feeling stronger. I'm making big progress in, in my in my sessions. So the um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm definitely adding muscle tissue now. I, I'm going to send my check-in over to Nick this afternoon um, and see what he says and if we should start pulling. But I don't know. I, I don't think we should. But um, and as I've explained before, our kind of coaching relationship isn't. It's it's quite dynamic. It's not like a standard do this do that by it's you know we kind of bounce ideas off each other and, and all that so um it'll be kind of interesting to see what he says uh, from the from the post workout shots that I'll be taking today um what else so it's again at this point this kind of time of the year 
I feel I get a bit flustered because yeah, there's a lot going on, you know. Um, there's well, not not this year, but like, there's obviously social events and that, and uh, nights out, uh, Christmas itself, New Year. Um, but this year, Rig and I are going to Dubai on the nineteenth, uh, and with this with this skin color, I'm one hundred percent going to come back fucking burnt to a crisp. But um, so that kind of takes things out. But then there's obviously the stress of of traveling just now with all the COVID shit and, and uh, being in, obviously I went to Dubai at the start of the year, so I, I do know it fairly well, I feel like I can get about now, and we're going pretty much to the same area that we stayed last time, um, so that's not an issue, kind of know where to get food, know where I'm training, know where I'm going, know how things work, so it's just a case of landing and just cracking on with it, and we've got all our supplements ready to go, we've got everything kind of uh, ready and, ready and packed before we, before we leave for Dubai, so... Um, I'm not really stressing on that front, it's just trying to fit in going up to Aberdeen um, for a mock Christmas with my mum and dad, my brother. Um, all these wee things are kind of, I don't. I think I manage stress quite well. I think um, I think my girlfriend would probably um, laugh if you heard me say that, but I think I do. Um, but yeah, I, I just this time of year I, I get really flustered with everything that's going on. So, um, but we're just going to have to manage manage these things as as good as possible. Um, I think a lot of coaches and PTs become a little bit quiet at this time of year. Um, I'm I'm definitely one of them. December's never been a busy month for me um, in terms of coaching, people signing on or or anything like that. So, you know, at one at one point this year I hit a, a business high. Um, in terms of the amount of clients that I had, um, and I was like absolutely delighted with that. That was a um, the twenty twenty one goal, and I reached it uh, back in summer. So I was delighted with that. And but ever since then, obviously people have stopped contest prep. Some people get into this time of year where they're like, kind of right, okay, I'm not really that focused. Um, others, like I want to save a bit of money, which is totally understandable on that. But obviously, when you've been to a certain peak, you kind of don't want that peak to go because I've worked hard to try and build up my personal training and coaching business, you know, it's, I built it from the ground up, you know, I built it from nothing, um, and, you know, you just don't want, you just don't want to go back, feel like you're going backwards, when I know I'm not, um, so right now I'm just trying to accept that things are just a little bit quieter just now, um, and just live like a professional bodybuilder, you know, I've got, I'm very fortunate in the means of how my life is set up. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, technically, I am a professional bodybuilder, even though I did turn down my PCA Pro card, which I still think they're raging at me for. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to live day to day like a professional bodybuilder. Just like if things are quiet, fuck it. That just means I can go to bed earlier. That means I can do more stretching. That means I can do more posing, which I'm not doing just now. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, be content with things right now and I'm not very good at being content I never have been I've always wanted more this more that more money more muscle more this bigger flat whatever um, it's it's always kind of been um, in my psyche really just to kind of be better in every single way it's, it can be a bit of a, a downfall sometimes when you put too much pressure on yourself so you know my training partner Chris was just like just sit back and kind of enjoy this quiet time because it's going to get mental in the, in the new year and with me doing the biggest show that I've ever done uh, in March, all these things combined, you know, it's going to be extremely, extremely busy. So he's right, and I just need to kind of sit back and just enjoy it. Because in previous years, I remember in 2019 having prep for the entire year. Um, man, I was so delighted to be quiet in December. Um, I was doing, I'd done one week of PT in the whole of December. I took the rest of the month off, um, just chilled, went to Amsterdam, went to Prague. Um, but this year is some, something different. Because I'm on prep, I want to be busy. Um, I hate sitting about thinking about my next meal, so uh, that's kind of the difference here. But again, I feel like I'm kind of rambling a wee bit, but you know, I, I think I find the past couple of vlogs have been a bit dry in terms of how I'm feeling, but that's how I'm feeling just now. So um, yeah, very, very happy with 13 weeks out. We're going into the 12 week mark next Friday, and the 12 week mark is, a, is one of those milestones for me, always has been. Off, right, where we're at, where do we need to push, what needs to come off, um, and you know, I'm very, very excited for that. So, um, I still feel great, 
motivation sky high. All I think about is this, is training this show. I really don't want to do anything else just now. So, like I said, going back to my previous point, trying to be content with the time that I've got, using being a little bit quieter on the business side, just to kind of hone in on on my own bodybuilding and and prep and that. So yeah, everything's flying just now, and uh, hope you're enjoying these logs and kind of getting a bit of a I don't know fucking motivation from them or just an insight into how someone who's been competing for as long as me thinks and yeah we'll see how this goes so cheers guys